Okay, welcome once again on this platform, e-learning. My name is Mkiawa Daniel, as usual. Now, I want to take you through our paper two, word processing, that is 2018, as you can see here. Word processing, how you can go about it. USCE. I'm basically going to go through paper one, I mean paper two, that is number one, word processing. Now, we go. Okay, now, uh, based on a question, look at the question, they're saying, of course, we are provided with, it. please, candidates, look at this, make sure you read this instruction carefully. Each candidate is provided with support files in a folder. So support, you name support files. Okay? So they are on a desktop. So you must come back and check on a desktop. It is 2018. They are the ones. Okay? So you open it. You follow the instructions carefully. For example, access the file. Intro wp.rtf and save it as your name and personal number so you come to your folder here of course before you open this folder first create your own folder on the desktop okay there we are we are done then now you come they have told us to uh, uh, to open a file intro WP okay copy then you come to your folder double click and paste here we are there you're done you can close this then you are free to come and load your file so once you open it this is how it looks this is how it looks like okay now you go to very fast you go back to your question number two set the margins as top one i mean top one inch bottom one inch left and right all of them one inch so now you go back and set the margins how do we set the margins take layout come to margins come to custom margins all right so you click on custom margins once you click on custom margins this appears so once you click on custom margins you can see this one appearing now you've got to be careful based on a question here they have told us that they have told you guys you see now here it is centimeter yet if you go back to the question it is inch whatever you see those double quotations they are full columns okay it means it is inch they are requesting you to apply inches so but when you go back to your computer maybe at a given point in time one use it and change it the measurements so now you need to be careful and say the click on uh, layout come to margins then you click on custom margins here we are so now before you select you come and put one 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 you've got to change this so now you change it how do you change it file i've clicked on file come to option if you're using office 7 click on office button see you see options come to advanced and then scroll down here gently you until you see me, uh, show measurements in units of so you click on this and change to inches you click ok so now you can go back now and click custom then you see now they are already in inches as you can see so now you put one uh, one 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 then you click ok they are done that's why it was given to to max okay format the text to font size 12 and apply double line spacing 
So now we are formatting the text to film 12 and apply double line spaces. So you come back to your document, we are formatting. So control A to highlight everything. Then come to home. We have told us font 12. Okay. Click on enter. Or you can just click on font here, and then you see 12. Okay. We have told us double line spacing. How do you apply double line spacing? I've clicked on paragraph. Here we are. You come double line spacing. Double. And click OK. Or sometimes you can come and click select here. You select it too. Okay. There we are. Next. Then you keep saving the changes. Keep saving the changes. Next you go. And I want to apply a drop cap. On the first paragraph so i drop cap on our first paragraph so you come our first paragraph is here highlight the first word how to apply drop cap a first word click on insert select the drop cap there we are you're done save the changes next e number number one make a bulleted list from the data in the second paragraph so now a blessed list so you come back second paragraph this is the second paragraph now shopping list okay so bulleted meaning now we're going to break this here we are now this is we can now put the bullets so you come to home and select the bullets bullets are there or you can right click or you can right click and select bullets okay but now i would advise you to keep selecting home come to bullets and then select the, the bullets that you want okay bullets not numbers you select that is one shopping list that is one uh-huh You keep pressing so you keep pressing this is the number that they did last year 28 yeah uh, last year but one 2018 so now this is what you need to do there you're done you can now go back e split the list into two columns so you come back to the list we are splitting this into two columns highlight layout Select columns two layout columns select two there we are come to another one insert an appropriate heading for the text so now based on our heading now you, you are we are choosing an appropriate heading this this ICT exam examination makes the end of the introduction of word processing ah so now we are choosing you choose your own appropriate heading so how do you insert a heading come click up there okay click click uh, uh, uh click on top then we are then we are putting the introduction you put that heading that you want Maybe the introduction, maybe examination. You select the heading that you want. Here we are. You can center line it. Okay, next. Draw four and a half point colored line below the heading. So you come, where is the heading? below the heading so you click at the heading then we are drawing a four, a four and a half card line so how do you apply that come to this click on paragraph home paragraph come to board and shading on board and shading before you select anything first select the color colored they have told us colored if you want it blue okay fine any color that you want so you apply any color that you want then now you come to width 
and select 4.5 this is four and a half there we are then now on this on the preview you must see a preview okay we want only this at the bottom click ok so that's how we can draw that line thick thickness is 4.5 below the line so that is it so you go back insert a watermark of your name come watermark my name here we are this is what we have watermark your name you come to design come to watermark okay watermark they have told us our name okay so you come and click on custom watermark custom watermark then select text watermark and then delete this apply the watermark maybe they have told you your, your name uh-huh if you want color apply color some color um then you can choose to be horizontal select it to be horizontal or vertical i mean diagonal or semi-transparent if you want it to be thick or uh, uh, deactivate it or check it or uncheck it apply this is what we have this is what we have if you want it to be more thick you deactivate semi-transparent click ok to be more thick then you click close this is what we have okay next insert a picture from the folder images one and send it send it behind okay images one where is our folder our support folder it is here okay images one so you come and select from images one a picture any picture so i can select any copy then come to your document and put it wherever you want to put it because you don't send it behind home paste once you paste you see that it is small let me enlarge it a bit this is what we have now how do you send it behind click on 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 click on 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 format i mean yes format then come to position you can choose or you can as well come and select that text wrap same as text wrap then you select text behind and you realize that once you select text behind that's when bring forward it to be right now it is inactive but once you select this text behind it will be active you see now you can send behind bring front you know so that is what you you you're supposed to do so it is sent behind the text okay next save and print your work at this point you're done you can save we have already saved it in our folder now if they instruct you to print click on file if at all your computer is connected to a printer right away so you can just come to click i've said click on file select print and once you select the print i'll click oh come and select the printer you click ok copy one no problem one copy then for examination purposes you click print if at all the printer is already selected you select and then click print there you're done then you come and close your file and there you're done you close everything there you go. Thank you so much. This is how we shall keep studying and please keep subscribing or click keep clicking on these YouTube videos and I believe you know to make this